Hello there, so today we're going to be trying out some AliExpress makeup that I have recently and not so recently hauled. So today we're going to be trying out the Miss Rose Liquid Glow Highlighter. I'm losing my voice as I'm speaking. This is uh, kind of what it looks like, it is a liquid highlighter. Whilst we're speaking of the Miss Rose brand, they did very kindly reach out to me and they have sent me some products so i am going to be doing like a dedicated miss rose kind of first impressions video soon and um, if you would like to see that let me know we've got concealer we've got a glitter palette we've got lipsticks in the cutest little tubes ever and some eyebrow forks which you know I adore a good eyebrow fork so I will be maybe even filming that video tomorrow I bought this one with my own money so we're gonna be trying this today I also have a long wear gel eyeliner from the music flower brand this is a beautiful purple shade this is a, an, a gel eyeliner but I was thinking of maybe putting it on my eyebrows as well I just thought why not I also have the I don't know, Kamu, do you? This is a kind of metallic liquid eyeshadow. Looks really, really pretty. Um, so I'm gonna be trying that on my eyelids. I also have the gray kind of silver lip gloss, which I'm not very optimistic about, but I had a lot of you guys saying that it was actually really quite good. So I'm gonna give it a go. To finish off, we have the Silk Mascara. I believe that this is the one that's meant to give you the craziest eyelashes ever. The only reason why I'm still persisting with buying mascaras from AliExpress is because I just want to find that one that's meant to give you like crazy ass lashes that like come right down to your boob eyes. So I believe that the silk one is that one. It's probably not, but I mean, a girl has to try. So to begin today, we're gonna to be using the Liquid Glow uh, from Miss Rose. I have this in the shade for Sun Glow. The packaging reminds me of the ABH liquid highlighters. It looks very, very um, sleek, like they've, you know, put effort into it. So if I just get a little bit on my hand and if we just, oh, it looks beautiful. It looks like my perfect light champagne shade. Look at that. It doesn't really feel as emollient as it does like watery if that makes sense like a lot of these liquid highlighters can feel very emollient but this one feels a bit thinner like a bit more kind of watery than you know your regular kind of liquid highlighter so I'm going to just pop this all over my face as a base I apologize for my headband I know it's not the most stylish um situation but I'm freezing, I'm so cold. And I was gonna keep my grandma cardigan on, but then I thought, well, I can't really have my own stylish headband on and my grandma cardigan. So, God damn, this is sticky. Oh, what? This is seriously sticky. I don't know if you can hear how sticky it is. Can you hear that? It's very sticky, guys. So I'm thinking it might be like, a decent primer because it's so fecking sticky and um, and it's one of those products that once you kind of once you kind of you know massaged it in and it's got to its sticky point you just cannot blend it anymore so I'm gonna just apply this as a base one of you guys as well mentioned that you put a liquid highlighter in with your sunscreen so that when you're on holiday you've got like a super glowy bronzed sun kissed look to your skin and I just thought that was like the best idea ever so when we go away next week I'm definitely going to be trying that and this one actually looks really really good can you see I'm super super glowy right now but I'm also like super sticky right now as well which I mean I can't really feel it being sticky you know on my skin other than you know when I touch my face I am also going to mix a little bit of the um liquid highlighter in with my foundation. The foundation that I'm using today is the Maybelline Superstay, which is quite a matte finish. So I wonder if this, do you know what? I've only put a little bit in. I'm gonna put more on. 
I really want to be glowy today, guys. Like, glow big or glow home. That's my statement for the day. Okay, oh, it looks like a little a pair of blue eyes, you know, in, in my foundation. But I'm just going to kind of mix that all up using the tip of my sponge. By the way, I'm loving this sponge. And I know there's been a lot of controversy recently about this sponge. But I love it. Like, I think it's a fantastic sponge. I think that Nikki's issue was that, you know, she should have definitely just said that, that Juno sent her the sponge because I don't know why she didn't. Like, Juno sent me the sponge. And if they're sending me the sponge, I'm pretty sure that they sent Nikki Tutorials a sponge. Do you know what I mean? She should have just said, like, why, why would you not say? But anyway, guys, so I'm just going to start to put the foundation on i love this foundation it's very high coverage and as i said it does have quite a matte finish but maybe not today maybe today it's going to be transformed into like the dewiest foundation ever <laughs> oh ghost lips Oh, I feel like there's a problem. Like, there's a problem here. For some reason, like, oh my gosh, can you see? Like, it's really affected the shade of the foundation. It's kind of lightened it up, which probably should not be a huge surprise to me. But, like, even on my hand, it doesn't look like it's mixed particularly well. It looks a bit like milk that you've left out in the sun, you know, when it starts getting curdled. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually bring this back. Look, oh my gosh. You know, like most liquid highlighters, you can kind of mix them in to your foundation, like no problem. Like with the MAC Strobe Cream Liquid Highlighter, you could just like mix them in and it's fine. But this one, mm. can you see guys? Oh my gosh. Oh guys, no. Like I don't know if it's to do with the fact that I put this this liquid highlighter on as a base or because i mean it's it looks shit i'm I, i'm gonna have to like rewind i think and just start this again because this does not look good guys can you see it looks fucking terrible and look he's turned the foundation about 10 shades too light for me so oh, that's a shame guys and like i said like i don't know if it's just because i used it as a base and maybe that's affecting the foundation or probably what's happened is I just mixed like way too much into the foundation. So it's just not mixed well. It's not mixed well. But for me, like I think a liquid highlighter should be able to mix well with a foundation. For me, I, I like to mix liquid highlighters in with my foundation. Anyway, this is a disaster. I'm going to have to go wash this off and then I will be back when I've redone my base minus the liquid highlight. Or do you know what I might do? Just while I've got the effect up face going on i'm gonna actually like i'm gonna actually begin by just getting this off my hand <sighs> oh man i've lost the liquid glow like where did it glow where where the effect did it, where's it gone where's it gone it's gone guys oh my god oh my god like what how do I, I don't know how I managed to lose things when I'm sat here and I, I, I managed to lose things. Like where? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I put it in my makeup drawer. Right, what I'm going to do now is, because I don't want to give up on this too soon and it probably is like maybe my fault that I've just put way too much. I, I think I put too much in the mixture, but anyway, I'm just going to see what it looks like on top of our foundation. And I know that my base, let's face it, it's not looking great right now, but... I'm just going to put a little bit there. Oh, guys, I don't like this. I, like, I've tried a lot of liquid highlighters in my time. I've tried higher-end ones like MAC and NARS, and I've tried, like, drugstore liquid highlighters, and I've tried liquid highlighters from AliExpress. And I can say that I don't like this one. It feels very thin and watery to the touch, but then it's super sticky on the face. Difficult to blend. Doesn't mix well with others. No, I'm going to say this one is a pass for me. And I wouldn't recommend. And also, my hand feels a bit funny. Like, I'm going to have to get this off now as well. For fuck's sake. 
Okay, so I'm back. I've done my base again. I've done a little bit on my eyes and I've put some super pink pigmented blush on. I did not realise I had quite so much of that on my brush. But anyway, so I've had a little bit of a change of mind because the beginning of the video was such a failure and because I don't have very high hopes for the Camille do you product i hope you don't mind but i'm going to switch that out for one of the heng fang liquid glitters i have tried one of these before and it definitely is the closest dupe i found to the steel glitter and glows it's not 100 percent um but i did do a video where i did a side by side with smoldering satin and a color of this that was most similar to smoldering satin and I mean it looked pretty much the same. I do feel like it's really important for me to say I've had a few of my subscribers say that they've tried this and it did kind of burn their eyes and they really didn't like it so please just be aware of that if you've got very sensitive eyelids maybe give this one a miss. I mean I've not had an issue with it but that doesn't mean that you won't and because like quite a few people have mentioned it to me now I feel like you know I have a responsibility just to let you know today I am going to be trying it out this is in the shade five and it looks to be like a kind of bronzy bronzy tone oh my gosh look at this guys I actually swatched a bunch of glitter and glows a couple of weeks ago and this does look like uh what's it called I can't remember the name of it, but I will put the name here so that you can see. Like, it looks so similar to that one. I mean, I don't know which one it is, but you will know. Isn't that funny? Like, I don't know, but you will know because I will have checked and it will be written there. But anyway, guys, so yeah, I've gone for like pink look today. I used oh, my beloved Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics. This is my favorite palette at the moment. It's absolutely phenomenal it's gorgeous i just love it let's do this so i'm just gonna gonna apply this i did give uh, my other one of these to one of my uh, colleagues at work sidra she's not reported any kind of you know issues with it it's a little bit patchy and the glitter could do with they could do with be, being a lot more glitter in this, is what I'm trying to say. It seems like the glitter is few and far between, which is a little bit of a shame. And then it's making it look a bit patchy. Do you see what I mean? I want a glitter overload. You know, when I'm using a glittery product, I just want, I want glitter everywhere for days. I definitely prefer the other one that I've tried and that I gave away. I like the shade. Um, yeah, it's looking good. I'm, I'm not noticing any kind of burning or anything yet, uh, but we will give it a couple of minutes to dry and then, you know, just kind of see what happens along the journey. I always feck up this eye. Do you find that as well? There's like one eye that you're okay at doing and the other eye, it just looks fecked up every single time and it looks like you applied your makeup when you were kind of, you know, wasted. There we go. And there we go. I think it looks really, really good. Like, really, really good. This one, it definitely isn't as Stila-esque as the other shade I tried. But it's not bad. I mean, for a couple of pounds, it's not bad. I definitely, like, went a little bit outrageous on this eye. It looks a bit shit. So I'm just going to let this dry uh, for a couple of minutes. But in the meantime, shall we try the... This is the Poudoir Lip Gloss. I've tried a few other Poudoua, that's not the name, but Poudoua. Mm. Tried a few other products by this brand. I think they were lip products and I was not very impressed. Uh, this is the lip gloss and it's in the shade 21. I don't know how this is going to look good on my lips because... Uh, just like downright metallic silver, but... So, can you get a silver that isn't metallic? Or oh, is that just grey? I think that's grey, isn't it? Anyway, okay, so I'm just I'm huffing it on. It's not really doing much. I mean, you can barely even see it. Are you okay, bud? Okay. Oh, it's got a funny smell to it. I'm not appreciating it. Yeah. yeah? Dinner's ready. 
Oh, great! Yippee! Oh, do you know what? Like, it's definitely not opaque. Kind of sheer. It's got a funny smell. But I'm not hating it. But it's definitely futuristic. But I feel like it's kind of going with my overall kind of vibe today. Oh my gosh, update on the eyelids. Update on the eyelids. Can you see, like, it's sticky? I don't know, like, if you can see it's sticky. Because sticky is usually something that is felt but if i go like this right and then go like this can you see how my oh it's sticky it's making me feel like i'm about a million years older than i actually am surprise i'm actually really liking the silver lip gloss it's not silver in like you know tin man kind of silver it's like a silvery lavender kind of shade and i think it looks very charming indeed okay so next we are going to move on to the gel eyeliner now i did say i was going to do my eyebrows with this but i'm kind of chickening out a little bit because i'm thinking am i going to do my eyebrows with this gosh this is so sticky can you see oh guys i don't like it and i know that you might say well i'm when you should have like sat in this position for like 10 minutes to let it dry well i don't have to do that with my stealer one so i'm not gonna do it with this it's so sticky guys uh, I don't remember my other one being quite so sticky, but can you see the transfer? Oh, God, guys, I know I'm going to say I do not recommend this one. I like the other one I tried, but this one's fucking shit. Okay, right, what we're going to do next, actually, is... Uh, yeah, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm, why not? Why not? I just feel like live and let live. Live and let be free, free like a bird. Because I don't ever use like a gel eyeliner because I can barely use, a, you know, a liquid eyeliner pen. I don't have like the, a brush to use and I'm, oh, oh, do I? Oh, I did. I just remembered like I did. It's like the, the ghost of brushes past is just coming back to me. I bought that little like, you know, angled one from AliExpress, but then it broke. Do I still have it though? Or have I just dismissed it? Could I use this? This is a Morphe one. I'm going to use a Morphe one. Okay, so, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm just going to brush them out first. So it looks like, I don't know, I've made a bit of an effort. Okay, okay, so right, let's do this, guys. Um, I feel like I could get away with this. That moment when you have a, an extravagantly wild idea, but then it actually seems to work. Do you know what? I'm liking it. Oh my gosh, I'm liking it. And I'm loving the lips. They feel super comfortable. It's definitely not a typical gloss formula. Like, my, my lips don't really look glossy, do they? But, like, I feel like I've got nothing on there. Thanks, guys. If it wasn't for, for you guys telling me, I'm when, go for it. Don't judge it. I would have just thrown it in the bin. But I'm so glad that I didn't now because, let's face it, I don't have anything like this in my collection, so ah, I'm loving it. And I'm loving this. It's not like so bold and out there that it just looks like I'm going through a midlife crisis. I think it, it looks subtle enough that, you know, I can, I can maybe just about get away with it. Would I go to the office with this in? Maybe, like maybe if it was a, a dress down Friday, I might do. You can get away with a whole lot on a dress down Friday. You know what I mean? T -t -t oh, by the way, I'm so sad about Matt Miller. I used to listen to Matt Miller when I was in kind of my, my late teens, early 20s. Oh, and I'm so sad. Like, why do all of these very, you know, successful creative types like have to get involved with drugs and just let it like destroy them it's so so sad like so sad mac miller seemed like an absolutely lovely guy and i feel like if it wasn't for the drugs you know he would have been fine oh god i'm loving this i am 
feeling this today. I love it. I feel like it really kind of goes with the lips, goes with the eyes. Update on the eyelids. They do appear to have dried. They don't feel sticky anymore because they were sticky and probably because like I'm going to accept some responsibility. I probably should have been a little bit more still whilst it was setting. Um, but like I don't have to be still with my Steeler Glitter and Glow because well, it just sets instantly. Then it is like 20 million pounds more expensive than this one. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes, bitch. Well, I am next going to attempt to do a wing with a brush like this. Like if you've watched my channel before, you will know. Hmm. Mm. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't even know if this is the right kind of brush, but like I'm not going to be using it for anything else. So I figure, well, yes, let's just go for it. So I've got some of the purple on the, the tip, like a penis tip. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Da, da, da. Oh, this is fun. I'm enjoying this. This is a new experience for me. Okay, so I'm going to have to stop talking now because... I cannot talk and try and have success with this. Do you know what? It's going on beautifully though. It's so opaque and it's so like creamy and it's just easy to use considering that I've never applied eyeliner with like a brush before like this. I love the colour of it. And still, she's talking. She just cannot stop talking. Okay, this this is the bit I need a moment of silence for. If you're talking as well, shut the feck up. Seriously, guys, like, because I, I know I can't do this. I need your support. Okay, this is where it all fecks up. Like, for real. Oh yeah, I don't know if it's this brush that just is not maybe the right brush for this. Okay, so I think that the brush probably is not right. Maybe if I try um, this little brush, which is like more of a, like, I don't know, it's denser and it's like a slanted brush. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this brush is good for like lining your eyes, but I cannot get the wing. Like I just cannot. The glittery eye product is just so patchy. And if it wasn't patchy, maybe if I just let it dry, you know, properly, if I'd given it half a day of my precious time, you know, to dry, then I think it would look really, really good. Uh but obviously Mrs. Impatient over here. You know, she has, to, she has to keep moving her eyelid. It's like, it's super smooth, but if you apply a little bit too much, it does go a little bit chunky. And I'm not liking the wing, so I'm just gonna like delete, delete, undo. So there we go, that is the wing. Well, it's not wing, is it? <laughs> this is the eyeliner situation. I'm really liking it. Like, I'm really enjoying this kind of purpley theme that I've got going on today. In order to get like a little wing, and I don't know if this is just gonna, like destroy everything but i'm gonna go in with my uh, renaissance flick which sounds like the name of a very like you know upmarket high class dildo i'm gonna go in with this just to create a little bit of a je ne sais quoi wing at the end okay okay i want it to look like that purple the purple line is kind of coming out of the, the black flick. By the way, I love this eyeliner. It's really, really good. Really easy to apply, but it's not waterproof, which renders it obsolete for me because other than like using it in a video, I wouldn't like use it and, you know, go out to work or something with it. I'll have to fit that up. Oh, I totally fecked up that eye. What the feck? Okay, so I fecked up that eye, so then I had to match it and feck up the other eye as well, of course. I can't 
live my life for the next couple of minutes with these crazy eyes. What do we do before wipes, guys? I'm fecking everything up. Oh my gosh, I'm fecking, fecking it up. And I've created exactly the same line as I've just got off. Okay, so there we go. Right, finally, we're going to move on to the mascara and uh, just see how it goes. I would definitely say that my confidence levels in the mascara are rock bottom purely because I've never had any luck whatsoever with mascaras from AliExpress and I bought this purely purely because I want to see if I can get that freakish eyelash look. So this is the Silk Plus Mascara and it is a kind of two mascara kind of product. So, oh hello, who's that? Okay, right. Do you want to go do it? Give me a shout when you've done, gorgeous. I need a refill. Right, okay. Well, you, you do what you need to do, bud, and I'll be there in a minute. That, that never happens, does it, on Jacqueline Hill's channel. So it's very glamorous. She's in a studio. She's got lights. Mm -mm, that does not happen over here but anyway okay so yeah it's a dual kind of mascara product so i mean what, what are these everything's in in a completely like i don't know different language like korean or something i don't know i don't know which one i put on first let's have a look which are the fibers okay so this one is the actual mascara this one i think is going to be the Oh yeah, the fibres, the black fibres. Oh, okay, sorry guys, one sec. Okay, so if this mascara does not give me the freakiest eyelashes ever, I'm going to be so disappointed. How awful my eyelids look right now. Okay, so I've just put a light layer of that on. Oh, why do I always insist on doing like a thick like eyeliner? when I'm testing out mascara. Oh my gosh, there's lots of fibers in this. Holy vaginas. Whoa, guys. Can you see? Look at that. I'm excited now. Right, so I'm gonna go back in. I don't feel like there's much, much of this formula actually coming off on my brush. I'm thinking, come on, do your worst. Give me super freaky eyelashes. They do seem quite long. Can you see? Look at that. They do seem quite long, don't they, guys? I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to put more fibres on. Okay, we're doing this, guy. Oh, my gosh, guys, look, can you see? <gasps> I do feel like they're getting longer. Look at that. This is actually quite good. Like, by the way, this is by the Bio Aqua brand, which are quite a respectable brand, I would say, on AliExpress. Like, my lashes definitely do look like. They do look like they're getting longer. But the problem is, like, there's a limit because you can only apply so so many of the fibres before it starts getting clumpy and strange as it's looking right now. My eyelashes don't look like they're individual eyelashes. They look like they've got little like, you know like you get a, um, a branch on a tree and it's got little leaves and things coming off it. That's kind of how my eyelashes look right now. They're morphing into just one lash. Oh, I'm never buying any more mascaras from AliExpress. If you see me in a haul and I'm hauling a mascara from AliExpress, just shoot me. Like, just put me out of my misery, shoot me. I'm gonna try and do my bottom lashes because I'm still reaching, you know, to have these like super crazy eyelashes. So I'm putting the fibers on. Look, they look super fluffy, super shit as well. Back in with the fecking formula. God, this is a process. This is my face right now, guys. Hello. 
my name's Anne Wen, and this is how I apply my mascara. Imagine if the wind changed and my face just stuck like this. <laughs> hmm. So this is it. Oh, maybe if I do the finger technique. This is the best I'm going to get with this. Um, it's definitely added volume, but at the same time, it's just made my lashes look ridiculous. Mm, guys, there's one piece of advice I could give you and just really hope that you kind of take it and run with it. It would be do not waste your money on a mascara from AliExpress because they're all shit without exception. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to do my other eyelash because I don't think I can handle it right now so I'm just gonna like I don't know keep it like this okay so guys that brings us to the end of this video it was a mixed bag it was kind of okay but mostly fails so I mean I didn't try the camera do you if you do want to see me try it I definitely will but it just didn't make me excited in any way the mascara bullshit really like the lip gloss it definitely was kind of unexpected it's not a lip gloss for for one and for two it's like a beautiful kind of lavender silver shade which is very unique and very comfortable on the lips so i'm really really liking that i think that this shade of heng fang isn't as good as the other shade that i've tried i feel like i've got fibers in my eye oh my gosh like literally yeah i didn't really like this particular shade it looks shit on my eyelids so yeah i mean I, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to, going to be commenting well i'm when you should have allowed it to dry properly and i do fully accept that so you know maybe i'm a bit to blame there but i mean i didn't have any kind of burning or any uncomfortable feeling or anything so there's that i really like the gel eyeliner from music flower they do have a couple of other shades as well i'm just loving how it looks in my eyebrows i feel like you could get away with this and you wouldn't get too many strange stares but even if you did i mean who cares so i really like this as a liner but mostly as like an eyebrow product so anyway guys that brings us to the end of the video i really hope you've enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye